Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to learn five tips for better latte art. So, so, so. Hey guys, so on YouTube you've been really loving my latte art tutorials. So I thought I'd create a video this week on five simple tips to uh, better your latte art pouring. Let's have a look at them now. Okay guys, the first tip for better latte art is uh, using fresh full cream milk um, from a quality dairy. Okay, so um, especially in Australia there's like a price war on our milk and so all of the major supermarkets are trying to keep the prices down and uh, lower the costs. So um, if you use a, a really good quality milk, you can just see that it holds together better when you go to a texture. Okay? The other thing is we're not going to reuse milk ever. Okay. So um, when you're starting a new coffee, you want to uh, rinse out your jug, make sure it's nice and clean, and um, start with cold, fresh milk. The next thing with your milk is that you don't want to overstretch it. Okay, so if you can see here, we're starting just under this here. And to make a flat white, or you know, to make one flat white, um, or you know, latte for latte art, you don't really want to stretch it so that it adds more than a centimetre of volume. So when I finish texturing this milk, you'll see it's just about here. So don't overstretch it. If you want a um, better guide or a, you know, a bigger guide on um, texturing milk, I have another one of those videos. I'll um, put an annotation so you can check that out too. The last thing regarding milk is we don't want to overheat it, okay? So 60 to 65 degrees max. If you start heating more than that, um, the milk won't sort of stick together well. Um, so the main thing for your, um, your heat is to keep your hand touching the bottom and just touch it a little bit and then take it off straight away. Um, as soon as it's getting too hot to touch, you want to stop steaming it. The other thing you'll hear is the sound gets sort of deeper and deeper, kind of whirring sort of noise uh, if the um, temperature gets too high. The next tip for improving your latte art is to have a really good base of espresso. So the main things that will improve that is getting a really good shot. And to get that, you need to use freshly ground, freshly roasted coffee. Um, you want to make sure the coffee is sort of like at least a week post roast, um, but sort of not really much longer than three weeks post roast. So if your coffee that you've bought uh, doesn't have a roast date or the roaster can't tell you a roast date, um, then maybe sort of look for something a little bit fresher. So I'm going to grind up a shot here um, and, and pull a really good shot. Now if you want to know more about uh, pulling great shots, I have a video on that as well. I'll provide another annotation for you to check that out. The next important tip for improving your latte art is to use a good cup. Um, so this one here, it's kind of like that 220ml bowl size cup. I've been using these for a long time. Um, and the height to width ratio is important. If it's not very high, you don't have time to set the crema and that kind of thing. Um, so using a good cup is quite important. Okay, the next tip for better latte art is uh, how you pour. So don't pour too quickly because you'll splash out the crema. Don't pour too slowly because the crema will set. So you want to keep it nice and even, okay? And then make deliberate movements with your jug, okay? So don't just go wiggling the jug all over the place. Be slow and deliberate with your movements of the jug.
Now the last important step for better latte art is to practice. It takes a lot of practice. When you're good at latte art, it looks very easy, but it took a long time to get there, okay, for any uh, latte artist. So you want to practice the same pattern over and over again until you get good at that pattern and then move on to the next pattern. Start with your simple designs, like your hearts and your bulbs, your tulips, your rosettas, and then move on to more and more difficult patterns using a combination of those uh, techniques. So if you follow all those tips there, you should be pouring uh, way better latte out in no time at all. Let's take a look at last week's Free Pour Friday winner, Jao Carlos Enrix. Hopefully I pronounced your name right there. Uh, great latte out and you took out the Valentine's Day edition of Free Pour Friday. You've gone into the draw to win a t-shirt. Remember guys, if you want to win a Coffee Fusion t-shirt, um, you have to enter Free Pour Friday. Um, and the finalists um, go into the draw for February. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Coffee Fusion. Remember to like Coffee Fusion on Facebook, follow The Coffee Fusion on Instagram, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, Coffee Fusion is bringing coffee lovers together. Tear off. And I'm actually going to time this as well, so if you uh, medium press the power button, you bring up the menu that weighs. Follow The Coffee Fusion on Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, Coffee Fusion is bringing coffee love. <laughs> <laughs> it's only got to be one take.